An endangered species of sea turtles found in the Gulf of Mexico is on the rebound after decades on the brink of extinction. This film, taken in Mexico in 1947, shows an estimated 40,000 Kemp's Ridley females coming ashore on one day to lay their eggs. In 2009, only 5,000 nests were found at the same beach. But as the night team's Tim Gerber shows us, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles are increasing in number along the Texas coast thanks to the work of government biologists and hundreds of volunteers at the Padre Island National Seashore. Attention turtle patrollers. Excellent conditions for nesting. It's nesting season for the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Each morning, dozens of national park workers and volunteers head out in search of nesting females on this 80-mile stretch of beach. It's hard work. I do it just for the thrill. Clark Williams has only found three nests in the past two years he's been a volunteer. Well, you may go for days and miles, but all of a sudden you find one, and then uh, that just makes it all worthwhile. The turtles tend to remain fairly close to shore. Dr. Donna Schaefer has been protecting the Ridleys for 30 years. She's seen them come back from the brink of extinction. The population was plummeting, and it got to a low point of only just a little more than 700 nests worldwide in 1985, but the number has been climbing since then. The best way to protect the turtles is to save the eggs they lay. Finding them is a challenge. The turtles blend into the landscape and their tracks are hard to spot. The weather is often the best predictor of when nesting will occur. While these conditions are certainly less than ideal for a day at the beach, Dr. Shaver says it's exactly the type of weather nesting turtles love to see. The wind will help keep the turtle cool while it's on the beach. A day like today, they certainly don't need to worry about overheating either because the rain will help keep them a little bit cooler. But on this day, only one nest is located. Great job. Let's keep us posted with tag numbers. The eggs are collected and taken to an incubator where they'll wait to hatch. For Shaver, these eggs represent the future of the species. We call this an endangered species success story in the making. We're still not there. The turtle certainly isn't off the endangered species list, but the numbers are increasing, and that's really exciting to see. On Padre Island, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.